Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Tuesday's edition of the Reseller Daily Grind. <laughs> Right. We're going to take you on a trip today. Are we? What yeah. Kind of, what kind of trip? We're going to take you through our day. It's about noon, which is when we start working on reselling. Mm -hmm. I've already done a graphic design project this morning. Dan's already sent out 100 invoices for his other job. But we normally work from noon until 9.30 p.m. We take an hour off for dinner, and that's our eight-hour reselling day. Here we Go! 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 Today we're going to show you a relisting strategy. I'm on my side of the office relisting items. I do that every single day when we start working. Dan's going to process some returns. Yay. We are going to fill up this empty rack with a big haul from an estate sale. So we're going to show you each and every piece and uh, get a cost of goods for that so we can list it tonight. Yep. Then we're going to ship with you. Oh, man. All right. And see how much profit we made today. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hey. I'm trying That's to learn how to use a camera. I think you're doing a great job. What are you doing? Uh, uh, I am actually starting to reply to some YouTube comments again. What? I know. We have so many comments that we haven't responded to, and I've been slacking, so I'm trying to not slack at that anymore. Look at that, <laughs> guys. This guy's working hard for you. Thanks for your comments. Yes, they do help. They've been really good. We got some good feedback yesterday. And we appreciate you. All right. Well, I guess we're going to start working here soon. It's been two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to relist. Bye. Okay. Bye. Hey, guy. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm, well, first of all, I'm listening to Taylor Swift, so I had to mute it. Yes. Don't Second want a of copyright all, strike. Okay. So I'm selling similar. I ended 13 listings that were old in eBay, and we'll go through that another day. But I'm looking at these Eskandar pants, and whoa. Wow. So here's my bulk relist, and something just ain't right about them. So I just went and pulled them. They're not selling. I have them at 539 on sale right now. And something's wrong with them. Okay. So what's, I just pulled them. them. The color is not right. Mm -hmm. It says that they are gray and they don't look gray in our photo. So I was like, are they gray? So I went and pulled them. One, we have the wrong skew on them. Two, uh, these look beige. And anyway, so I was kind of just doing a little, Eskandar is like a brand we have been experimenting with. And I was doing a little research and a lot of pants are selling for like $20 on auction. That's insane. Shocking. And then I was trying to find out, so I just went to Solds and just did Eskandar pants, and I filtered from highest to lowest. Okay. So some of these pants, because ours are new with tags as well, are selling for $1,690. Oh, my good Lord. So what's different about these pants than the pants that are selling for $20 new with tags on an auction? Right. I know auctions go for less, but... So I'm trying to figure it out. These pictures are not great. It looks like it's all the same seller. Very low... Look at these, went for 2400 Wow. Okay, so when I'm relisting, this is the this is the hot tip of the day. Hot tip. You don't want to just click sell similar and be done. You're getting really close to my face. <laughs> uh, that isn't going to do it. That's not what makes things sell. When you're relisting, what we're talking about when we mention it is going through and editing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pull these pants out and take new pictures of them. Because that's $500 or $700 that's on the table right now. Maybe it's not selling because of the pictures. The pictures are fine, but the color isn't accurate. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to look at the comps again. And I do that with a lot of things, not just Eskandar pants. I'm going to look at what the retail value is. I'm going to do a little more information because my description was just basic. And I think when people are going to drop $700 on a pair of pants, they need a little more information. I'd agree with that. So I don't think that eBay is against us sellers. I think... When something hasn't sold, it's not because eBay's not pushing it or blah, blah. It's something I'm doing wrong most of the time. Hmm. So every single one of these 13, I'm going to put in some effort into making them. Sometimes the price is just too high, but other times it's things like the photos or maybe the information's incorrect in the specifics. That happens to me a lot. And it's worth the time if you only can list, if you only have the time to relist 13 like me today because we have a huge packed day, do it right. Right? I'd rather relist less 
and edit them correctly and maybe have a chance of selling them mm -hmm. than doing like 30 and doing them quickly. Yeah, sure. That's my advice. Take it or leave it. Great advice. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, it wouldn't be a working video. We have to interrupt. Boop, 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 interrupting <laughs> segment. Wouldn't be a work with us video if we didn't show this part of the process. Yeah. Tell them what you're doing and we do every single day. I'm processing returns. All right. What does that mean? So we sell a lot of clothes yes. and shoes. Yes. So returns are inevitable. Yes, they are. And um, we don't do free returns no. unless we mess up. Right. Um, so I'm going to open all these packages, see what's in them. Uh, and then I have to issue refunds when applicable and relist each of these items and assign them new SKU numbers and update all that info in Vendu so that when we sell it the next time, we can find it. Yay! Yes. How many are you doing today? Uh, three. Yikes. Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. We're back. We're back. It's three. Okay, so we've been working for three hours. I relisted, cross-listed. That is something else I can't remember. I did, I did some research. Aha, research. And then Dan did some YouTube comments. He didn't finish. No. He did the returns. Yes. Found one more. Dang it. One more return. He did something else too. We can't remember. We were working hard. Took and out then the trash. He took out the trash. And then we schlepped all this stuff in here. Okay. So here's what had happened. We wanted to go through and show you. This was our first ever estate sale buyout. So we went to the lady, well, Dan did, because I don't talk to people. <laughs> True. And he was like, how much for everything? And she was like, okay, come back tomorrow, which we took a risk. Yep. We bought the things we definitely wanted the first day. Well, the first day we were there, which was the second day. And then the third day, everything was 50% off, but we wanted to make a deal for everything. Mm -hmm. And we did it. So this is a mini haul. Hopefully we can introduce you to some new brands. This will not have comps because... We don't even know what's in here. We just put it all in the car. Yeah. So let us know below how you think we did. We're going to just show you mm -hmm. some helpful tidbits. Helpfuls. Some yeah. of you guys really like this when we go through <clears throat> things and we describe them. We got some handbag shoes and mainly clothes. Oh, we forgot the hats. Oh, man. And the dust bags. And the dust bags. Okay, we'll come back at you with those. But let's get yeah. through. Should we start with... Let's just start clearing stuff out of here. We gotta clear stuff out because we gotta ship. It's three o'clock. Okay, this is a Juicy Couture leather bag. Mm -hmm. Juicy's doing really well. If you can find the terry bags, they're like terry cloth, yep. big round bucket bags that are really bright colors, they're doing really well. I don't know about leather bags, but all of this stuff we got was from a lady. I don't know, she peaked in the 2000s, I guess. I guess. Lots of 2000s stuff. It's nice. Okay, so we have no idea. No idea. There, there it is. There that, yep. It's got some hardware on it. It feels like a Marc Jacobs bag to me. Kinda, yeah. This is an old school Kate Spade. I know it looks fake. It is not. This is how they used to look. <coughs> but now only the fakes look like this. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, and I want to tell you how overpriced our estate sales are. This little bag. Sometimes they can be ridiculous. $75. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <coughs> Get out of here. Uh, the good thing about this Kate Spade, we haven't comped it, uh, but it is made in the USA. Awesome. So that's cool. Yes. I'm just going to clear off this table so then we can put that stuff here. That sounds awesome. This is a... Um, a little clutch something? I don't know, or a glasses yeah. case or something. This is Donna Karen. It's probably not worth a ton, but no. like I said, we just piled stuff into our car. Yeah. We've got some shoes. Last is this um, it's like basket, basket weave. Yeah purse this is Giorgio Armani and the good thing about this lady whoever she was god rest her soul uh she was really good about keeping like tissue yeah. paper and there's, and there's boxes for a lot of the shoes and stuff like that yeah so. she took good care of her stuff and that's always a good sign when you're out of a state so oh my gosh free paper clip. hey uh that's a good sign when you're out of state so if you see boxes and dust bags that means that the stuff is largely taken care of in our experience yeah cool cool Okay, you want to do some of your... Look at these spaces. Start with these. Yeah, I don't know what these are. These are like... These are from REI. <laughs> they look very Moon Man. They're like Moon Boots. Yeah, they're like puffy. They feel like they would be very, very warm. And I guess they're like slippers we have, or something. We, we, we I think really they're slippers them. based on the soles. 
slippers. Okay, uh, what else is over here? There's a pair of Notori new, brand new, I don't know if these are new. Yeah, these are new. In the box. Oh yeah, they're new. Slippers, like leopard kind of. We right. love this brand. Let me show them the type. The... Yeah, I was go just going to show it. them the name. Notori. It's a sleepwear brand. Ooh, got it. You of... got it. Yeah. Uh, it's a sleepwear brand. I've never sold their shoes before, but we just listed a nightgown last night and it sold immediately. These are the Lux Leopard Mules. What size are those? Mm. I don't know. 10B. 10B. So hopefully all these shoes are similar sizes. It makes it easier to list that way. I'm going to go ahead and start a little pile underneath here so we can get out. Perfect. Okay, these are some size 10 uh, Bruno Mollies. <laughs> these are old school. Old school. I'm not sure that we would have ever picked Look how much they had them priced at. Show them the bottom. Boom. $80. Dollars. Yeah, get out of here with that. I mean, the brand's okay, but not $80, okay? And not this style anymore. I mean, we're going to sell them, you know what I'm saying, but not $80. <laughs> Don't get me right. wrong. We definitely are going to sell them. All right, this is a pair of Uggs. These are in a size 11. They wanted 40 bucks just for these. Get out of here with that, right? There you go. If you these stay with like, us till the end, we will tell you how much we spent. Like moccasins or something, kind of? Yeah. I'm, I'm putting stuff over here. Sorry. <laughs> These are some, what are these? These are strange looking boots. I don't know boots. these, but they feel nice. These are called Golo boots. If anybody knows anything about Golo boots, let us know. They feel real nice. They do. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, you can kind of, Golo boots. They have a ton of shoes They're like, like really this. soft leather and. They're a 10 medium. Yep. All right. Okay, uh, what is this? We got a couple of pairs of kids. Oh, I have one here too. One, so two. this lady loved her keds. Yeah, man. These are the leather keds. I don't know that we would have ever picked these up, but uh, for the price we paid, okay, we'll sell them. They're in great condition, all of them, right? Yeah, these like they look like a weird lime green, or they're just kind of no, it's just the ring light. light. So she did keep the boxes for everything. I know this is an aerosols box, but this is a, these are leather keds, a canvas keds, another canvas ked, and uh. Like a khaki canvas kid. Yeah. And again, if we go to um, these are these were twenty one ninety nine originally. At Foley's. Where's oh. Foley's? Huh? Uh. Okay. All right. We got All right. a size eleven suede black Manolo. All right. Can I just make a blanket statement before you you people that are watching and watch Sex in the City and you think Manolos are the ish? Uh huh. Not all of them. They ain't. Not all of them, you guys. Don't just pay up for Manolos. You gotta look up the style, and a lot of the styles we're about to show you are outdated. Yeah, yeah, sir. But we so, paid low price. Oh, black suede, flat. There you go. They're in okay condition. Yeah, uh, but I mean, the original retail was five fifteen. So. But they. What I'm trying to say is, back in the day. Right. Sure. They held a lot more value. And I've seen people on YouTube be paying up for exactly this, and I would not. Yeah. I would not advise that. So there's another pair. Oof. 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 Yeah. There's a bunch, bunch of Manolo shoes. You know what we might end up doing? You know what I'm about to say. Lotting them up. Lotting them up. Lot them up. These are a size 12. Uh oh. So are these. So if or, we have. Well, I don't think those belong. These are suede black and these are leather. Oh, I see. So if we can find some that are similar sizes, we might lot them up and then just try to get them out of our house. Yeah. Little ballet flats. Yep. Those aren't too bad. No, nope, they're no, in let the me wrong show you box. These. But... I think they go in the box I just had. These are not bad. They're leather. We'll put some stuffing in them when we take photos. The soles are okay. Some of the ones we have are worse than others, and these are all right. These are in the correct box. These are some beige like, cork. And there's some dust in it. Oh, we had these. Did we have these? Yeah, I remember. And then they had marking on here. We couldn't get it off. Oh, yeah. But We've they already were like, had but they were these like shoes. gold, right? No, it was exactly was these it exactly shoes. These? And look at the price on the bottom. Yeah, they wanted eighty bucks. Um, no retail price on the them. box is five forty-five. And that was back in the day, so these were expensive. Mm -hmm. So we did have a pair of these that we got at the Goodwill or somewhere, and we ended up donating them back. Yeah. Because we got some marking on the patent leather, and you can't get it off a yeah, patent. Can't do that. Not once it's like seeped in. 
So these are from a brand called Taryn Rose. That is a great brand. I had no no idea. It's still a great brand. It's a comfort shoe brand. If you go on Zappos and look up Taryn Rose, they make really wide shoes, which is why I know them. Mm -hmm. Really good brand. I don't know about oh, this. These are the style. The style's kind of eh. yeah. The style's a little dated. But uh, here's what the what it looks like. Taryn Rose. There you go. Just because the style's dated doesn't mean you can't sell it. Because maybe someone's trying to replace theirs, right? And they can't Could find be. them. So, right. give things a fair run. I feel a chance. No. No. <laughs> what $80? We have some Yves Saint Laurent. Flats. Oh, these are nice. Gold. Gerd. Gerd. And what does this say? Neiman Marcus, 1907 to 2007. This might be like a centennial something. Those are nice. Special edition. For mm -hmm. And we have uh, dust bags out there. We got all the dust bags because if you don't know, now you do. You can sell dust bags, like on their own. With the box still. Boom. There we go. These are the yeah. There you go. So these were originally three ninety. Yep. Holly Ballerina. See, I love when they have the name too. That oh, makes it another pair of kids. Purples. Easier to list. Purple kids. Okay. Coming in. There you go. Do you want to see the purple kids? Does anyone want to see them? Oh, they're call these blue but we probably won't list those because i have to clean them and that's just not <laughs> so there's a couple of pairs of easy spirits oh my god my gym teacher used to wear these in middle school so we got the white and the beige hey. yes yes maybe we do a little lot <laughs> all the colors you ever need go with you every outfit got all the easy spirits <laughs> what size are these guys these are from nordstrom yeah uh, it's hidden under the sticker. Probably. It's weird that she like wrote all the color. Oh. <laughs> Bless this woman's heart. That's all I can say. All right, we got a pair of Nike. These are like water socks, kind of. Okay. Right? I'll with, sell them. But with the with the heavy sole. I'll sell them. I don't know if Nike still makes this ACG line all conditions gear, but we got the original price was thirty eight dollars. Wow, well, these are old. Bless. Size 10 in the box, vintage. Okay, I have a couple more right here. I think this is an empty Manolo, but I wanted to show you the dust bag. You can like take your picture with the dust bag. I think it. Yeah. Okay, this one needs to be washed, but it's got some weirdness on it. Uh, these are Manolo. Oh. Some dust flying around here. <laughs> Woo, I'm going to sneeze uh -oh. real bad. These are some $70 for these dated. Yeah. Manolo flats, like no girl, wonder they were no. selling. Another pair of dated flats. The toes are all busted for seventy five. Mm -hmm. Come on, get out of here with that. Come, oh, you can't see that. You gotta. Oh. Nope, it it's doesn't work. White. It's not working. It doesn't anyway, like it. Seventy five. Then we got these sparkly mama. Ooh, these are nice. Fancy. Size forty one. These are good. These have been worn like a couple times only. Yeah. Okay. I can see someone buying these. And for, the estate right. sale, these are Manolos again, one is 75 for them. 75, get out of town. Okay, so we will do our best to list these and lot them and do whatever we have to do to get this stuff sold so that it doesn't clog up our inventory. Right. If it's not worth listing, it goes right back to the Goodwill. Yep. All right. When I mean it's not worth listing, meaning like the sell through isn't there, no mm. one's buying it. Oof, oof. Like there will be. still stuff flying in the air. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? All right, we're, close time. Oh, man, we got... We All right, got, let's switch spots. You do the... Let me get my coffee. Ba though. We're, we're doing bangers right off the front here. Bangers. So this is the stuff that we bought the first the first day we the went. The first day. Um, I will say it every time I touch this scarf. This is the softest thing I've ever felt in my entire life. We need to get this listed in Meej. Yes. This is a very, very nice 100% cashmere scarf from our friends at Loro Piana. Come on. Help me with the focus. Nope. It's not. There it goes. If you see that label, um, the brown one, you know, like where the... Uh, that means they made it themselves. It's not just their fabric. Uh, and this stuff, w the retail price of Laura Piana would... If you've never looked at it, just, just go check out the website. Yeah. Just go check it out and uh, have a seat nearby or somewhere to... <laughs> I'm going to hang your head when you faint. <laughs> so uh, they do 
lend their fabric out to other brands, yeah. we find that the Loro Piana brand in itself is way more valuable. Yes. Than the Loro Piana fabric made by like Xenia or something. For sure. All right, next. Next is a Eskandar scarf. Y'all, we love selling Eskandar scarves. If you've never seen the logo, oh. we have a bunch of Eskandar coming up. Spoiler alert, there, there it is. Go. Very nice. Uh, this is a linen, I know it. Yep, absolutely. And these scarves, we have a bunch listed at about eight fifty right now. Yeah, eight hundred and fifty dollars, <laughs> not eight dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> that brand is is awesome. Which, so in Dallas, if you're new here, hi, welcome. Hey, everybody. <laughs> uh, we we look for this uniform. We call, oh, there's gloves in there. Yeah, there are gloves in here. Bonus. Free we look gloves. for the uniform. These Dallas women all try to keep up with each other, and they all wear the same stuff. So once we go into the house and we start seeing Neiman's and Eskandar, we're like, okay. So these are very nice. These are from Neiman Marcus, a size seven and a half, genuine leather, 100% cashmere lining. Mm. Nice women's uh, winter gloves. We'll have to get those listed. Yep. This thing wow. is probably insanely valuable. Wow, um, you guys. Yeah, I've never heard of this brand, but there's a couple of things that are incredible about it. It's. Uh, it feels, I it, can't even tell you what it's. It's a double cashmere. It's a double knit. Double knit cashmere. Yep. Uh, reversible. Um, and the brand is inside one of the pockets. This is so nice. This big boxy Japanese kind of style. You can, it's lag and look similar to uh -huh. that. I found it. Is This is um, Agnona, okay. which I've never heard of. Me either. But again, I looked it up and this is insanely expensive stuff. You can just tell by looking at it. Yeah. Once you Reach touch enough it. of this stuff, you can tell. This is real similar to that mm. reversible St. John thing we found, mm. but, prob but probably mm. way more expensive. All right, let's just show them this like pair of old lady jeans. Old lady jeans. You guys have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so you would just look at these and be like, okay, old lady jeans, right? They have elastic. You could get these at Walmart. No. No, these are, these you, again. You cannot. There you go. These old lady jeans are Eskandar. Yeah. Insanely expensive. I know that they look like Faded Glory grandma <laughs> pants. I know. I get it. But these women clamor. The denim especially. It's a cotton. Mm -hmm. It's probably a Pima or something. The denim does so well. Yeah. So regular Eskandar pants that are like wool or something like that, they can go for... I mean, these have some flaws. Um, you know, they can go for two or three hundred. The denim you can list for five to six hundred. Wow. Because who doesn't want a pair of jeans, right? <laughs> right. All Insane. Right. We're going to just keep moving right along. Gosh, I'm a no I have like the state sale in my nose. Okay, this is another pair of Eskandar pants. These are black, very stretchy, like probably Pima cotton. These are stretchy like old school uh, pajama pants and yoga pants used to be. Mm. Not stretchy like Lululemon now. These are a, uh, oh. oh. Somebody uh, went painting in their Eskandar. Like, I can't, no. Can you imagine having that much money that you could get paint on your Eskandar pants? Uh, That's no. exactly what that is. Is that seriously paint? Yep, it's latex paint. Wow. I think I can get this out. Sweet. Subscribe. <laughs> Put on the notification bell because all the way through Christmas mm -hmm. time, we're doing a work with me and some of that's going to be stain removal. So don't miss it. All right, we got, we got so much stuff I used here. to work in a shop. I know how to get all latex paint. Here you go. And I'm going to soak the crap out of this guy. Does it need a soak? It needs a little bit of a soak. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what kind of material. It's a cotton. Cotton. It's a Pima cotton, I can tell. Okay. So this is a, it's right here. Here it is. This is 100% Pima cotton. Boom. Nailed it. This is Eskandar. And they have their this own sizing. This is one size, though. And a lot of it, I was getting ready to say that, a lot of their stuff is one size. Mm -hmm. So this is a little bit dinge, but maybe tomorrow, let us know below if you want to see how I soak our whites, because it's a pretty fun concoction. I'm pretty confident with its formulation now, and I'm ready to share. Uh-oh, ready to share. I'm ready what? to share with you. I'm ready to soak some clothes. I'm going to... Oh, oh. I'm still this. figuring out this flow here, so I'll just hand Excuse stuff me, flow? To you. Exactly. Okay. This has a little teeny spot on it. I am not going to sweat that. Uh, peroxide in a Q-tip. <laughs> this is Eskandar. Their knits do extraordinarily well for us. I do not want to hang it on this hanger. 
because it has these things and oh, then yeah, it gets caught in it. So we have some high quality velvet hangers and wooden hangers, although knits in general should not be hung up. Just letting you know. This is an open knit tunic. It's very long and we know it's a tunic because on the side it has this split here. Just because it's long doesn't make it a tunic, especially with these sizings. Let's see, Eskandar from Neiman Marcus. This does not have a size, so it's probably one size. Mm -hmm. The original Eskandar was all one size. This is gorgeous, and these knits can fetch hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So I will work on the stain on the front. And, uh, yeah. We're just so packed here. Yeah, just okay. grab it. This is uh, wrecked. We did not pay full price. She gave us a lot of this stuff, quote unquote, for free. But we're going to average it into our cost of goods. This is wrecked with bleach on the front of it. I think I can resurrect this. Might just have to re dye it or something, right? <laughs> I might have. Well, bleach is difficult. Oh, okay. I might have to re bleach it. Oh. Yeah. This is Pima cotton. Cotton is a very hardy fiber. It can survive in bleach for. It can survive. So when I get pieces like this from a state, so I don't have anything to lose. So I do a lot of experimentation. If you would like to see videos on me wrecking and re-wrecking fabric to revive it, let me know. <laughs> I would love to do a video on that. Yeah, man. This is one size full zip. I'm gonna resurrect it. Awesome. And sell it for $100. At least. Now I don't like to do stain treatment on things that aren't worth money. So if it was like a Forever 21 or even like a Banana Republic, I would not bother. All right, here you go. Another Eskandar jersey knit. Yep. Uh, this has a roll hem. That's what this is called at the bottom. When we do hauls, we try to teach you something. Roll hem. It's a boxy cut, and that's really, really uh, trending right mm -hmm. now. This olive Just color like is great. Three quarter slash long sleeve t shirt. Yeah, I think this will probably go for 100 or 200. Something like right that. She's painting in it. What? It's I latex can't. paint. I cannot. Don't you wear your not good clothes to paint? Well, in this house, I do remember there's a little art studio. I think she was a painter. Oh, okay. So I think she was just painting. Just painting. In her Eskandar, she was just painting. All right, we've got a bunch of hangers going on here. I'm not really sure why. I love a two piece Eskandar. They sell for Boom. a lot more money. This is uh, not wrecked. Hopefully. I know. <laughs> uh, this is a Pima cotton like jogger suit set. This looks like. It would be insane. Yep, it's 100% Pima cotton. And the two pieces, if you can find them together, There's do much better. So yeah. let's say you find Eskandar at the thrift. We have. It happens. It does happen. And you found the, the full zip. I would immediately go to the pants section and comb the pants section just with my hands to feel for the softness. <clears throat> yeah, because once you feel this fabric, you like it'll stick in your mind for sure. I just wanted you to know that they make two-piece sets because you wouldn't want to leave a pair of pants and unnecessarily. Yeah, seriously. You gotta go looking for them. <clears throat> we do it with suits all the time. We find the sport coat and then we like comb for the pants. Yep. Because a suit obviously is more valuable than just a sport coat. <sighs> yeah, it's fighting with it. It's getting a little frustrating here. Cause we're just... We'll just hang some stuff over here. I've been trying to all right. thin you out is... there, friend. Oh, no, we got another. This is another oh, one. you have it. No, you have to. No, we can't have this. This is Eskandar oh. on Eskandar. Hold on. You can't be doing this, babe. We got we to gotta, we gotta fix you. Okay, I'm gonna move some of this. Okay. Whew, it was too full. Yeah, this is a knit cardigan, but it is wrecked. It's got a mat, nice gnarly hole in the shoulder. <clears throat> right there. Okay, so again, we got a lot of these for free. Quote unquote. We are gonna take this to a tailor and try to find a good one. We don't have one yet, but we're gonna take it because the nature of this hole, once it becomes a hole, it's a lot harder to fix because you have to darn it. But these are just like pieces of holes. These can be put back together. This is not irreparable yet. Yet. Uh, and <clears throat> there it is. Okay. Okay. So that's two pieces that are kind of wrecked. And we told the lady, we're like, we'll take these off your hands, but we ain't paying for them. Yeah. And she was like, okay, cause no one's gonna buy them. Who's gonna buy them? Me. <laughs> Him. Me. We gonna buy it? There you go. I'm, just, I'm trying. <laughs> okay, we can put stuff over here. This is just mind. temporary because it's gonna end up blocking my monitors. Alright, more. Can take these? Yeah, let's take Give those. Give me a little extra room. More Eskandar. This is what, this has got to be linen. I can just tell by looking at it. Just a little tank top. 
shell, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> can I help you? Nope. Okay. Unless you can make uh -huh. me grow. There's the tag. This is very nice. This looks like flax. 100% linen. <clears throat> okay. Job oh, suck. Okay. <laughs> One day we're going to be sponsored by Job Sack. Oh, I love these. We mm -hmm. love selling these wool pants from Eskandar. Yep. You <clears> have <throat> to look for moth holes because sometimes these have cashmere blend in them. Mm -hmm. These feel like they might, <clears throat> and they get moth holes really easily. And these, I think, are okay. Yeah, I think these are good. Okay. These are Eskandar size 2. And they're a wool blend pull on pant. And we normally get around two to three hundred for these. And that's just us like kind of giving, <coughs> giving them But you've been all. doing, you've been looking at comps and some are like way higher. Yeah, it, it's the cashmere. We just got to figure out the fabric content. There's a little hole right here. Just saw it. <clears throat> okay, this is... Did you guys see it? There's a hole. Oh no. Yeah. Man. Look, 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 look. But it's really high at the top. And um, again, we're taking a bunch of stuff to a tailor, so... Maybe they can fix it. <clears throat> okay, this is an Eskandar silk top, but it does have a little spot on it. Right there. <clears throat> I am not afraid of washing silk, but this feels like glue. Oh, man. It feels like super glue. I know exactly what this is. If you can figure out what the stain is, you can try to remove it, or you can take it to a professional. You just got to kind of know. I've stained enough things in my life that I kind of know. <laughs> so we'll, I can treat this first. I'm not afraid of treating silk. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Again, subscribe. Turn on your notifications, people. <clears throat> okay, this is a just another scarf. I don't know if there's a brand tag on this that I saw. This is definitely a Sandor. You start to know when you like mess with... Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> you got a frog in your throat? Yes, I do. I'm sorry. He's got a frog. So once you encounter enough Eskandar, you can feel it. Mm-hmm. It's weird. Trying to just talk through it. Talk through it! <coughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is... There's a couple of pieces in here. Hold on. Let me shake this one down here. All right, so we have a... These are... Help me out. I'm going to list these separately. Okay. This is a sleeveless with buttons and then this is a the same season same fabric these are both Eskandar yep we call this the lab coat style because mm -hmm. it has patch pockets on the front if it were longer it would be worth more this is a casual top okay. right but if it's longer you can call it a jacket got I'll it say. okay okay can we okay I see, yeah, I see just, what you're doing just for right now yeah I see it's good Ooh, this is a crepe oh Neiman Marcus, Eskandar size one. Wow, this is gorgeous. Yeah, man. Here's what makes an Esk... Oh. Is there a flaw? Oh, my God. All right, tune in tomorrow, y'all. We're going to soak the crap out of this, and it will be gone. You remember, take a screenshot, remember what this looks like. It will not be there tomorrow. I, I promise you. Ooh, bold planes. I promise. I got it down, you guys. <laughs> Only for whites, though. I haven't figured it out for colors yet. Oh, man. I think I got it. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty. This oh, is not gosh, every single thing. So this is what happens when we go to the estate sales. There's always stuff wrong with the merchandise. We're not surprised by this. Okay, this is scratching off. This is okay. This okay. is surface. Sweet. Sweet. This is a really trendy style even right now. Uh, what you can do with this kind of thing, this needs to be washed. 100% cotton. Is um, if it's black and this is just like surface and you want to make it blacker, if something has been like wash weared, mm -hmm. you can dye it black. Black is easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy. You can do it on your stove. Especially I will, with a cotton garment. I will boil yeah. the heck out of that Eskandar. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it back to life. I need to do like one a day because I get overwhelmed. Yep. Here's another. This is a Eskandar knit shirt. All right, it's just button. Just it, button. It's yeah. just button weird. It's oh, they off have it one. On. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. We left a lot of Eskandar button downs there because they were not in great shape. Another reseller was there and scooped them up. Mm -hmm. I don't blame them. 
And um, this one lady was getting ready to fight us over one. There was a slight altercation. Mm-hmm. It was fine. We're good. We worked through I it. I just want the one shirt. Whoa. We worked through it. <laughs> You're kind. Kindness matters. Okay. Oh, a two-piece. Two piece. Let me get another hanger for this, for the top here. Is that weird? No, it's fine. For right now. This is a silk two-piece situation okay um the tag for most high-end lady stuff is in the leg so that's where i will check first yeah the tag in the top has been cut out it's probably because it tickled probably i don't see the material tag for this right away i can tell you it's silk yep uh, we used to be afraid to list Eskandar, and now we just listed. It. It's fine. <laughs> it does take a while to sell, though. I just want you to know that. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to note that those are pull-on pants. They just have elastic, and there's no zipper or button. They're pull-on. People love that. It's really, really adds value to what yeah. you're selling. Oh, this is yes. stunning. 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 <laughs> Look at oh, this thing. This is what you're looking for, people. The big substantial pieces i'm trying to get out of the way get out of the way get out the way get out the way look at that look at this thing and look at that little button tab at the top little detail on the back right there this is what we're this this thing is what linen 100 percent linen probably this is why we this do is what we very do. very soft linen wow this piece is stunning uh -huh. and here you go and you're like, but it looks like a potato sack. I know. <laughs> I get that. But it's the proportions and the drape when you put this on your body. It yeah. looks high end. Because it is. So <laughs> if you're wondering why people spend the kind of money that they do, it's because these designers, it's the cut. How it's cut, how it's laid out, and how the garment drapes on the body. Man. What's your what's your best guess on a on a value of this thing? Fifteen hundred. Oh, I thought you were going to say more. No. That's, that's pretty amazing. Not on the resale market. Okay. If it was new with tags, we could, yeah, we could talk. dance on a figure higher, but I'll probably list it for $1,500 and take anything over 1000 Nice. Oh, man. Another two-piece. Another two-fur. Mm-hmm. This, is, it feels like linen. And so the, the top is a size one and the pants are a size two. That's okay. Yeah. The Eskandar sizing is very flexible. And Obviously, these yeah. have been dry cleaned. They still have tissue in the sleeves yep. from going to a high-end dry cleaner. Love that. Love it. Love that. I think we ended up paying that day $30 a piece for the stuff that was in pristine condition. We went over everything with a fine-tooth comb. Yeah. And then the stuff that was like that shirt I showed you, we didn't pay anything for. But we, so if I can save it, that's extra money. You know what I mean? Cool. Here's another. This is very nice also. Nice. It's got to be silk, right? Yes. And this has a cute... I just look like a Peter Pan collar. Please be a Peter Pan collar. <laughs> People <laughs> love a Peter Pan collar. It is not. This is like a Mandarin collar. Yeah. This yep. is Mandarin. <laughs> this is meant to stand up. Mm -hmm. And that's what that, that shape is. Hopefully you can tell. It might sure. be like, bring it in a little bit. You have to put your hands on it to like... I can't see what I'm doing. You're doing good. There like you go. Like that. Yeah. Yep. That's called a Mandarin collar. Look at these sleeves. So you're like, why? But this, the way that the sleeve slopes right here and the way that the shoulder is dropped, that kind of detail is what makes it lay on your body in such a delicate runway type of way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It just looks expensive when you wear it. Another one. This is like a shirt dress kind of. Yes. Yes. And I told you guys last week how much I love selling shirt dresses. Uh, this is a linen weave. If you're lacking on fabric knowledge, look at our videos from February. Every single video has fabric. Yeah, this is 100% linen. It was made in England. And again, probably 1500 Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And we did pay full price for that because... I'll pay 30 and turn it into 1500 every single day of the week. Every, I, I would have paid 60 I would have paid $100 for that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, I've got enough of them. And Eskandar is hard to comp. It's worth what you ask for it, and it's worth what the buyer's willing to pay for it. So a lot of times when you comp Eskandar, it'll be really low, 
and those are things that have gone on auction. Mm -hmm. And people shopping for Eskandar are not, in my opinion, serving eBay auctions. No. If you have $1,500 to spend on a dress, you're just going to go and buy it. So here's another very, very nice two-piece. Yeah, we're going to not put that on this hanger. Okay, I hate these hangers. Y'all, if you have them in your house, these came from the estate sale, Get look what it does. Mm -hmm. Luckily, we can steam this out because it's silk, but it leaves the impression. Get yeah. those out of your house. It does. They don't belong in your workspace. <laughs> I'm mad about it. I can tell. Ugh. Oh. Man, that's rough. I know you guys probably it's can't like in see. There. Yeah, all this in there. Oh, my heart. Luckily, it's just the waistband. But all right, look see? at this awesome top. This, have, this has some discoloration. That's beautiful. This is called a gauze. See how translucent it is? This is a gauze fabric, and a lot of times gauze can be made out of cotton or silk, and this is a silk gauze. I can just tell by feeling it. Mm -hmm. And these are a silk crepe pant. Crepe meaning it has a little bit of tooth, meaning it has a little bit of texture. And that's where you get this flowy situation. If it were a satin weave, then it would be shiny. A crepe is not shiny, that's why it looks matte. So in order to get these out, we're either gonna have to take this to a professional dry cleaner. I can try to soak it and dry it on my own. There's no guarantee that those marks will come out because it is in the fiber. Silk fibers hold on to that memory I, don't, I just don't like it <laughs> get those get them out of here get it out of here all right all the pants ready are y'all still with us velvet pants it's almost four o'clock we haven't started shipping we gotta don't, go a little faster don't rem I, well okay oh these are new with tags well, i don't know that's just safety pinned on there but retail price of this 520 dollars. these are eskandar yep okay these i think if that there's no way to tell if that's the right ticket or not. Yeah, no, there's, there's a tag in here. Oh, is there a tag? Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hey, hello. hi. These are flared trouser, the brand new with tags. Love it. Viscose and cotton. These would be called a velour. What is that, velour? <laughs> a lot of people would call this velvet too, but when it's a viscose blend like that, we're going to call this a velour. Yeah. Excellent. Velvet is... From back in the day is 100% silk. So if you're re if it's really, really velvet, the pile would be just like this, but it would be made of non-synthetics. Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and call these a velour. New tag's still going to do great. Hooray, new tag. I love when the tag is hiding. Like a special bonus. So these are more. These are gray. These are linen. Ja, I'm looking for the tag. I don't see one. <laughs> nope. And they have pockets. Fast. Trying to go faster. So that's Eskandar as well. This was a lot of Eskandar. This is very rare for us to find this much yep. in one place. This is another pair. Here you go. You're going to hear how much we paid for it. I find that the drawstring Eskandar is better. Yep. I don't know why. Maybe that's newer. They started adding drawstring. So I'm happy to see those have a drawstring. Ah. These are a jersey knit. Yep. They feel like sweatpants. There's a ton of dog hair on them. Sweet. Free of charge. Eskandar size three. And these will do great because we can mark them if it's a jersey knit meaning it's stretch that's what jersey means like a t-shirt they're less quality fabrics so we can price them a little lower and somebody will be very happy to okay. have them a pair of black linen escondor okay it looks like the same ones you just had yep cool another, another jersey, jersey. Mm -hmm. yep size three all the colors she had all of the colors why don't you come up here so you're a little closer? I feel like I'm blocking you. Well, I can't because... No, 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 just like... Yeah, there you go. Perfect. We just needed a scope. Got it. Okay. These are cool. Yeah. Okay. These are a wide... Look at these. These are a super wide leg. We would call these a palazzo pant. Mm -hmm. Anytime it's like super, super wide like that and flows when you walk. But the really cool thing about this is the weave. The weave is stunning on these. Yep. I'm going to see if I can get in here and show you. I'll help you with the focus and stuff. Yeah, there you go. Look Ooh. at that. That textured weave like that is... It looks like a print. Is gorgeous. Yeah. Um, it's raised up a little bit. These these pants are money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're so soft and thin. Oh, gosh, I wish I could just have, like, feel-a-vision. <laughs> and y'all could feel it. Because if I was watching this video and I didn't I had never felt it, I'd be like, okay, whatever, $1,500. You know? No, but seriously, like... It feels different. These are some pull-on pants again, a size zero. Yeah. These go 
Do these go with yeah. the... Oh, yes. Yeah, we got do. a two-piece, three-piece here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So what I'll probably do is sell all three together because then you have a summer version and a winter version. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. That was not fun. I got that dog's hair up my nose. <laughs> <laughs> all right. These are a little faded, a little wash wear. But hey, Eskandar, if you want to make... There you go. You got you got a pair of pants for a video if you want to make them I do. new black. I will make them new black. There you go. You guys. <laughs> um, what I was going to say about the feel, like if you have a really high-end department store anywhere near you, like a Neiman Marcus or a Bergdorf or anything of that. Or if you're on vacation. Whatever, yeah. Go walk through that store, find this stuff, and just feel it. Like... They're for real. It's definitely some good knowledge to have. We might have to finish this haul tomorrow. We That's might what have I'm to saying. just do There's, Eskandar today. Yeah. I think, I think we're approaching the end of this might be the end of it. Okay. This is what is this? Chambers? What is this? Like sleepwear? Yeah, I don't know this brand. So here's the other thing about going to estate sales. Sometimes there's brands that you don't know, but if you're doing a buyout, you're like, well, if she has a whole closet full of Eskandar, the other brands are probably comparable. Right. Buy it. For sure. And that's what we did. Yeah, this is Chambers. I've never heard of this. I don't know what this is. So we'll look it up. It's like a chambray two-piece. Yep. Matching set. Love it. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that this thing was the end of the stuff we paid full price for. Okay. Well, because I'll just let you know that first day we did not pay full price for stuff with stains. Yeah. And I would recommend that you try to barter if you have stain removal techniques under your belt or if you watch our YouTube channel. Hey. Um because then you can probably get them for free. Because yeah. they know. Once you point out a huge flaw like that, they know that they can't sell it. Yeah. So they, and the whole, the whole point is to sell as much stuff as possible. So. so they would rather send it home with someone that's offering to take it with a big purchase yeah. in our experience. For sure. And we got all that stuff for free. So I think on the side of this, I think we paid $33 a thing. Because mm, I, think, like I think it was like 69 or... $67 at regular price and we got it for half of that. Yep. But what we're going to do and we'll finish tomorrow because we're running out of time today is we are going to add up every single item we got and divide it by the number of items and that's our cost of goods. Yep. So these Eskandar pieces will come down in price but then like if it ends up being around $10 that means we paid $10 for a pair of 1980s kids. Right? Yep. So that means when we're selling them we're just trying to get our money back on those items and trying to because we have to wait to sell this Eskandar. It, it might take a year or two. Yeah. And that's, you're waiting for your right buyer who's looking for that piece. And that's okay. But then when it hits, it hits. Right. And then you have a week where you sell an Eskandar and your profit is $1,000. Yeah. And you're like, yes, okay, okay, I'll take it. Okay. And then when you're trying to get $100,000 a year in profit and then you have, you know, 50 Eskandar pieces that sell, you're halfway there. Just. Yeah. With some high-end clothes. We do not recommend you do this for your whole closet or your store. That's why we're going to even it out. We have Goodwill bins hauls on yep. our channel. We have a lot of other stuff like that. But we wanted to share when we do find stuff like this so that you, when you find the opportunity, because it will come, mm -hmm. but it will be different in your circumstances. Your Eskandar might be something else. Your Eskandar might be an entire closet full of thrashed Carhartt. <laughs> that might be where you live and you're like, yes. <laughs> Each one of these things is super valuable in its own way. Or maybe where you live, it's an entire, you know, teenager's closet of fair tea and some really high-end Western brands. Yeah. It just depends on where you live. So don't try to emulate us if you don't live where we live, you know what I mean, and you're not doing the same business. I just wanted to show you some really pretty things that are high-end <laughs> because it's nice. It gets, ex it gets exciting when For you're sure. loving what you're doing. Yeah. Speaking of loving what we're doing, uh -huh. we got to start shipping. All right. It is 3.50. Okay. Uh, our post office closes at 5, and I believe we're shipping out 10 or 11 things today. And okay. some of them are very good bolos. One of them is going to blow your mind. Okay, you heard it. Stick around. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. And we're back. We're back. We pulled all the stuff in, what, 10 minutes? It was way less. Way less. Okay, right. we have 10 things going out today. We're going to start on Poshmark. I'm telling you guys, you're going to want to stay tuned. Yes, There's you are. Really, really good sales. Surprisingly, I was 
You know what? This scale, we're going to get a new scale. Yeah, we got to order it right now. Yeah. It keeps on its own, like, messing with prices. And we just got a, a couple of charges from eBay that I'm not happy about. Saying we underpaid for postage. Mm. And I'm wondering if this scale has seen its... We've had it for four years. And it was $20. Yeah. One? Well, the, I think the, the ones over there is new. Oh. Okay, so the first <laughs> thing that sold on Poshmark is this diesel diesel t-shirt. We pick up diesel when we find it at the bins. Is it from bins? Uh, I'm not I sure. Take it. I also am not... I think this was your sp shirt. Spreadsheet, probably? I think it was yours, because look, 1978. Good year. Huh, great year. Anyway, diesel doesn't do great for us anymore, but we do pick it up at the bins. I think this was Dan's shirt. It's, it's a size not, medium, and it says 1978, and it's diesel. It's so not, no, I didn't. I didn't buy that shirt for me. Well, maybe I bought it to try on and it didn't fit or something. It sold for twenty dollars. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Diesel. This brand used to do so much better than it does now. The uh, the men's jeans still do pretty well. Though. Oh, they do. You're right. You're yeah. right. Okay, I need to move myself over here. I cannot believe some of these sales. This is nuts. <laughs> you know, when you're just like, I'm a reseller, but like, I, who would, mm -hmm. there is a buyer for everything. Yeah. And this, this what's sold is going to tell you that. Sorry, I gotta make a more tape noise. Why? Because the first one didn't work right. Uh, it stuck to itself and I couldn't recover it. All right, the next thing from Poshmark is a Diane von Furstenberg dress that we have had for a very long time. And we accepted an offer of $35 on it. It is very tiny. And I say that, and I'm a tiny person. I think it may have been shrunk. We put the measurements. I said that it was very tiny, like a million bajillion times. So hopefully it fits the person. Luckily it's sold on Poshmark. There you go. It's a very nice dress. The measurements on it are, I don't know, this is not shrunk. It's just very, very tiny. And um, it's not a wrap dress. So the wrap dresses do much better for us, but here's the tag. I'd love for you guys to recognize this tag when you see it, because sometimes it can be very, very good. This is a midi dress, meaning that it falls below the, well, to the calf, really. Mm -hmm. And it's a little back dress, and does it have pockets? No. See if it had pockets, it'd be worth more. <laughs> Thirty-five. Thirty-five. And I don't know how much we paid for it. Do you? Um. According to this, nine ninety-nine. E e we would not do that. So I told you it was older, right? We would not pay that. This no. <laughs> if it was like a print wrap dress with long sleeves and tags, perhaps. <laughs> We don't pay up for DVF. We do still pick it up all the time, mainly at the bins or a lot of times Arthur stores we don't mark it, it up. We a lot at the thrifts. So they yeah. don't mark it up. I don't know. Uh, but I will say it one more time in case you're new to the brand. The long sleeve flip cup, flip cuff. There you go. That's different. Uh, wrap dresses with a print do the best. The best. They have a collar. It's like the original. If you look in our Facebook group, I posted a picture of the original wrap dress. So just like any other thing, you can't just go by brand, right? Different styles are going to do better or worse based on supply and demand. Speaking of supply and demand. Yes. This next thing was listed all sorts of wonky wrong. Dan went in and fixed it today because we got a question from a customer right he went in and fixed it relisted it because it was all sorts of wrong and it sold instantly i immediately got an offer on it and took it <laughs> but not to the guy that asked the question right a totally different person that's why you go through your listings i also while he's doing this listed <laughs> we were listing trench coats last night that we get for a dollar yeah live on the internet and instead of putting 59.95 i put 5995 yes did and it sell no. <sighs> And when I went to cross-list it today to double-check myself, I noticed it. And I was able to go fix it instead of it going off into the netherworld of $6,000 coats. So this is a super, super cool uh, Hugo Boss uh, summer sport coat. It's a, like a, it's a silk blend. It's really lightweight. There is a flaw right here. 
Mm. I think you better take a Q-tip to that. Okay. Um, it or does. Is it my eyeballs. Hold on. My eyeballs. See, that's what I was. It's crazy, right? All the I can same... see when I close my eyes, all I can see is the ring light. Yeah. Like, no. close your eyes. Can you see just like this? Yeah, I could earlier. Yeah. Sorry. No, it did it earlier to me too. Like, it looks like that kind of everywhere, I think. But, uh, but there are. It does have some stains on the lining on the inside, and I did note that. Okay, look, can I try the, yeah, yeah, the sure. Q-tip and yeah. a... I just want to make... Hold on. I just want to see how much silk is in here before... The, this will be fine on the inside. Okay. It's a tweed. It'll it's, be... Yeah, great. it's... So, when you have... Let's do it over here so you can see. When you have Where a little... It even? It's here. Okay. Yeah, that's a stain right okay. here under yep. my finger. Yep. So... Hydrogen peroxide on a Q-tip on a tweed jacket like this is is great. Somebody asked a really good question the last time I did this. Um, if I've ever had any problems with like color removal, and I have not. Knock on wood. Uh, if you just do it lightly, <laughs> because most of the time that I use this technique, it's on a surface stain. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times on suit jackets, it is a surface like a meatball. It's always a meatball. It's always a meatball. <laughs> Dudes drop their meatballs. Right? And it is coming right off. Sweet. You can, y'all can't see that. You can kind of see it. We'll get the lighting better. We're in a new situation. Yep. We'll get it better. Anyway, we just put, I'm just dipping it into regular old hydrogen peroxide. No oh, detergent. Yeah, no detergent necessary. And this will just air dry in the envelope and it'll be great. Yep. Perfect. No problem. Thanks. You're welcome. I wish I could show them. I'm going to try this while you're packing that up. Oh yeah, you can see it. There you go. Came right on off. I don't know what that was. It's oh, actually wow. not red like a meatball. It's kind of more brown. I don't know what it was. Yeah. Okay. Fold this thing up. Get it on its way. Sometimes the like oh. most simple things, you know, the cheapest is the best in reselling. Okay, so that sold on eBay for forty five dollars plus twelve ninety nine shipping, and it is going to Arizona. So a regional box will be its best friend. And that's awesome because the guy who was interested before only wanted to pay thirty five dollars. Right. Um, also, someone asked in the questions and said that no matter what they try, I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was. No matter what they try, a regional box does not work for them. It's never the cheapest. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, like, even if it's a state next to theirs. So regional, the thing I do know is that regionals go by zones. So from you out, think of it like like layers of an onion. Your state is zone one, and then a couple states out to zone two, you know, like that, like branches out like that. I don't know. I've heard this from other people, that regional does not work for them. Cubic does not work for us. <laughs> right. I don't know why. I would just try it. I would just, on your eBay drop down menu, look at the regional, put regional box. It's on one of the uh, options that you can choose and try it each time. It's something that is over a pound yeah. that you're going to ship priority. That's all I can tell you. I'm sorry. I don't have any other answers. There you go. It's a very strange phenomenon. Next. This is going to our friend Matt. Hey, all and right, it, Matt. It is the coolest. <laughs> I don't know how he finds the coolest stuff in our store, but he has very good taste. <laughs> and so I, this is Fat Albert. I used to watch Fat Albert, which is like why my humor is. Right? Everybody used to watch Fat Albert. I don't think everybody did. No. No. I was like very weird when I was a kid. <laughs> and um, I'm trying to get this off here without damaging the hat. Yeah, I, I got you. Because my husband put a paper clip on a knit hat. Here, I'll do it. I'll do it. It's, uh, it's, it's, just, it's already done, did? It was already in, it was living its best life in Perfect. there. Okay. Right. It was having a good time. No, here, you give me that and you take this. This <laughs> is from FUBU. Wasn't it for you, by you? I can't remember what it means. Sure, sounds good. And I it is a beanie one, and it has <laughs> Fat Albert on it and I'm obsessed with this beanie. It's a lightweight <laughs> red beanie. Dan's been picking up tons of hats and it has the FUBU. Platinum. Um, platinum FUBU. It's not just any FUBU. This is platinum. That's right. Okay. You're getting one hell of a nice hat here, man. There you go. <laughs> this sold for $20. Much appreciated. We appreciate you, sweet friend. 
Fubu Platinum, Fubu Fat Albert, Rudy Davis, Dumb Donald, Embroidered Beanie. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. it sounds like I'm speaking a special language. <laughs> and uh, Dan's been picking up hats and we've been flipping them. Right? Dudes wear hats. Got to, mister. Who knew? Did you, can't, did you reset the scale since it's crazy? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, next. next. I know you're going to be shocked. Eileen Fisher pants. Oh, no way. We have so many of these listed. I. All right. What? These are Eileen Fisher women, size medium. I told you, any size will sell it. It doesn't matter. Uh, here's the keyword that you put in the title. If it is this, if it's just a plain pair of black pants or something like that, Eileen Fisher women's size medium system stretch crepe straight pants black system. Eileen Fisher was the pioneer of the capsule wardrobe, meaning all the pieces can be interchanged with each, with each other and you can have less clothes and wear them all different kind of combinations. So some people have like a 10 piece capsule wardrobe or a 20 piece and they just wear those same pieces. And I love the idea of it. Could I ever do that? No, <laughs> but she called it the system. So if you put that in your title, if it is a basic hot tip, it's a hottest tip. It's a scorching hot tip. Okay. Make sure to do that. These sold for $62.95 going to Illinois. Nice. Nine ounces. All right. Next is some panties. Okay. Panties. There you go. It's going to Longview, Texas. We sell panties. Oh. These are, uh, we only sell them new with tags, y'all. I mean, really. Although, no. <laughs> There are some people that get into some nasties. We do not. These are new tag Vanity Fair, what we would consider granny panties. And whenever we find them, new tag, sometimes they stop making a certain style and people like it. I don't judge anybody that buys anything from our store. They sold for $11.66. All right. Vanity Fair, perfectly yours. Ravisant Brief, 15712, size 10, 3XL, star white, new. Two ounces. Two ounces. All right. Bum, bada, bum, bum, bum. Uh oh. Wah, 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 wah. Okay. Is this the bolo of the video? This is the bolo. All right. Everybody stop what you're doing and look up at the screen right now. Look at that thing. It's a rubber duck. It's a rubber ducky. It's actually just a rubber duck. But not just any rubber ducky. That is a Lufthansa first class rubber ducky. Y'all, it's a rubber duck. There's <laughs> nothing special about this other than it says Lufthansa on it. Uh-huh. Okay? Yes. So you have to be... I did research. This came in a junk bag. Yes. And I was like, Lufthansa? I better look this up. To get this rubber duck... What, you, do you, what do you have to do? I don't remember, but it is a lot. It is a lot. That is a status symbol right there, people. This is given to people that have like a million trillion first class flights in one year. And they have a different one each year. And we have two of these. And they were yes. both in junk, in one <laughs> junk bag. This is a rubber duck. <laughs> like, that's all it is. Nothing about It's not heavier than a regular rubber duck. It's a rubber duck. Like, right. you would get at the Target. Yeah. This sold for $96. <laughs> and the guy with shipping paid $110 all in for a duck. Yes. This duck. That one right there. I will tell you what the title says while we... Preciously, I better get some bubble wrap for this duck. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh, the big bub. Yeah. Okay. Do we have some little? Yeah. All that's... you out there, that's fine. Just that. All y'all out there making fun of me in my junk bags. Well, who's laughing now? This costs 99 cents. Uh, Love Tanza First Class Services Lounge Rubber Duck VR Virtual Reality Limited New. This has no flaws on it. No paint is coming off of it. Nothing. This thing was like pristine. And we just had to wait for the right buyer. It's been listed a long time. Like maybe close to a year now. And we have another one that's from another year. I'm actually not sure what year this is from. But I think I put it in the listing. It just didn't fit in the title. This it... not going to work out. Do you need... I need some like softer. It's kind of like... This is intense, isn't it? In it. Y'all, oh, junk bags. Don't be sleeping on them. You just never know. You have to look up everything. Because you would think that's like a GWP give or purchase, right? You'd be like, oh, they give that to kids on the plane. No, 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 no. 
you have to have some serious clout to get a rubber ducky. Yes. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Do you need different bubble wrap? Yes. I keep asking for the small bubble wrap, please. Yeah, but we have all these shoes here, so I can't get to it. Okay, do you so want you... me to try to reach it? No, you can only have what I can get. Here, I got the grabber. I can get it. <laughs> He's got that grabber. What about this one, though? Y'all. Here. <laughs> I can't. Yes. <laughs> Your ingenuity is why I love you. So good. So, if you do find rubber duckies, some of them actually, I have some other information about this. Some of them are good if you put cruise duck in with them because some, I'm sure someone in the comments below will explain it better than me, but yep. people collect ducks to go on cruises and you like put them on your door or something. I, there's something in Jimmy Buffett is involved. I don't know. There's something about cruises and ducks, but the oriental trading, like regular ducks, are not that great. But if you can find some of the bigger, more substantial ducks from a different... Look up ducks. Okay? Was that helpful? Sure. Love tons of ducks. They're the best ones of all. There you go. Five ounces. Come on, Lufthansa. Let's go. Every time I see rubber ducks and think I'm always like, oh, Maybe. am I going to find one? Okay, the okay. next is this Rag and Bone. We have listed this uh, pretty recently. Yep. Uh, rag and Bone does not go for what it used to. Not even close. But this was a nice piece, so we decided to list it. We can't let, when well, something's wanna... made out of like nice fabric, and yeah. I can't let it, I can't just, I have to list it. Okay. This is, I did try this on too, I'm just letting you know. This is what Rag and Bone tag looks like. It's still made with really high quality materials. So this is a tank top. It was a little long for me, but all of this detailing up here is lamb leather. Ooh, it's like nice. really nice and edgy. It has, this is called an exposed zipper in the back. There's a, there's still a lot going for it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is that a spot? Okay. <laughs> uh, this is rag and bone, extra small, New York lamb leather, shoulder accent, tank top with silk camisole. It's made of silk as well. And it's sold for $20. Okay. The comps weren't great. I think I listed it at 40. Someone offered 20 and it's been listed, I don't know, a month or so. And so I said, okay. Still making money. Right? That's true. How much do we spend on it? Uh, I'll let you know in one second. We might still be making money. <laughs> I don't think we would have paid up for it. <clears throat> 239 Okay, cool. Another lovely piece. <clears throat> We really like selling, I don't know, just like nice stuff. Yeah, right? Uh, is Eileen Fisher, <coughs> no, you're shocked. Eileen Fisher, women's size, extra small, any size, see? Black slit sleeve, fine merino wool sweater top. I wanna show you this. Sweater top? These are pull on pants. Okay, so we have the wrong item again. <coughs> These, these are, oh, and these are going to Canada again. 5350? 4306. What? I don't know. That's very strange. I don't think I called out that number. Oh, no, 4306. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where did, did we uh -oh. mix up the Eileen Fishers? We mixed up the Eileen Fishers. We've never done that. <gasps> oh no! Eileen Fisher extra small split sleeve. <gasps> See, we have to take it out. <clears throat> oh my gosh, we almost did a boo 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 boo. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? You don't, you don't have to take it out. Well, I wanted to show them. Okay, I won't take it out, but I wanted to show you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would have been horrible. Nine ounces on that. Yeah, these are definitely pull-on pants. <clears throat> Back to what I was saying about the system applies to these pants. Holy moly, that was scary. Yeah, man. Yeah, these are pull-on pants. Okay, well, <clears throat> now you know. <laughs> Awkward, okay. Always okay. double check your work. <laughs> yeah. If we weren't filming a video, those definitely would have gone to the wrong people. Truth. Truth. 12 ounces. Okay, last thing. 
And this took a while to sell, but we held out. Yeah, we did. I want to show you the tag. Some people are new here. This is Double D Ranch size medium chevron sweater maxi skirt knit pleated green blue. That was mm -hmm. the title. These knits that kind of look like Miss Sony. What is going on there? I need to pull that back through. There you go. Yes. We went to an estate sale that had a lot of Double D Ranch and we bought all of it. <laughs> and we just waited for it to sell. This sold for eighty ninety six. Yeah, you need your snag nabbit. I really want to check the listing and see. Oh, yeah, I can get that. Let me see the back of it. Okay, I can't get that. So. Are you sure? You're you going to go at it from the bottom. Oh, so can I get into the, it? Underneath the all right, line. we're going to get in here. You all always want me to do sewing. I'll try it. Are you sure we didn't note any of that? That's why I said I wanted to look. I think there's... Where's my snag nab it? It's over here. Oh, it is? is it, it's this one, right? Oh, yeah, that's my snag nab it. Okay, so I have two tools that I'll introduce you to. This is why you... There's, there's like a couple. This is why we like the daily videos. grind videos, because you get to learn. Well, we have time. <clears throat> it's not going to take long. Okay, this is the first tool. See how it's like a... I don't know, it's just a needle with like, what do you call that? I don't uh, know. A hook? No, not that one, this one. No. This, this is called the snag nabbit. It's like, and like threads almost, like on a screw. Like on a screw, yeah. And this is the knit picker. And both of these I use to pull threads into the other side. Never, ever, ever snip a knit thread. Don't do it, the whole thing will unravel. If you know anything about knit, it is not meant to do that. Okay, where's that big one? Up at the top. Right yeah, that here. one's a big boy. All right, come on in, come on in. We're gonna try to do this, y'all. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not. <clears throat> I'm a little nervous. Where is it? This is what we're gonna try to pull back through. And there's a lot of thread going on here. I'm gonna try to find, can you bring it down? Stay with us here, we're gonna Make some magic happen. This is a lot. It's like a, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's not gonna pull through if it's not clean. It's like a big tangle. Because this is metallic thread. I do want to check the listing though. Because when you pay eighty-one dollars for something, I'm sure we we noted it. <clears throat> Sometimes we're going fast. Yeah. So I would just want to check it. I also, with something like this, if I can fix it quickly, it's worth it to me to do so. I'm detangling, y'all. I mean, I could probably just pull it through so that, like that big tangle. Mm-hmm. It's like a knot almost. Yeah, it's a knot at the top. If I could just let it go off of this one, you know, this one thread could do its own job over there. Oh. Oh. There we go. Being a little forceful, but it's better than... what's happening right now, you know? Mm-hmm. Come on. There we go. Come on, now. All right, so I have <laughs> four different threads here. They are they are detangled. And now we're going to put them back through so that this pull is on the other side of the fabric. Hopefully that's making sense to you. You got to go through this way where my arm is. There you go. We're not really set up for you to yeah. see this. I'm sorry, but you just gotta trust what I'm doing. I'm wrapping. Maybe you can see it. I'm wrapping the thread around the snag nabbit and pulling it. <sighs> That's so cool. I mean, it only takes a couple of seconds, you know? Once you get used to how this tool works. We should link it below. We'll forget, but we should link it. Yep. 
good on Amazon. I get them all the time because I keep losing them. And since this is lined, it's going to be fine on the other side. We'll just tie a knot. Totally gone. Nice. Totally gone. <clears throat> like it's completely flat. So then we're going to go on the inside here. Uh -oh. Everyone asked for for these videos. Here we go. We finally did one. And so here's what I pulled through. I'm just gonna tie a knot. And there's a lining, so this knot will never never bother, never never see cause a problem. Nothing. Mm -mm. Boom. Okay, is there another big one I can get? Um it's just so simple here, that we might as well just deep. send, you know, a fantastic piece. There's this one, one on the back. Is it it's gnarly. Okay, let me get the gnarly. That one wasn't that gnarly. Don't they? Right. Right there. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, hold it up like that. Okay, this is just one. I can do this real quick. Because this is an open knit at the bottom, so it's, like, super easy. There's one on the front at the bottom, too, and it's, like, an open knit. Whoopsie! <laughs> Quality entertainment here at the Hustle Couple HQ. That's right. Come on, baby. Here it comes. Magic. Well, I mean, if I was spending eighty-one dollars on a skirt, I'd want someone to pull my threads through for me. Yeah. There you go. It's gone. Gone. All right. There's just one more on the front. I know. Uh, I just want to tie this off. If you don't tie it off, it's likely to come right back through again. And so tying it off just kind of keeps it in check. Okay, There's back a blue to the front. one on the front. Right here. This is a little baby one. The knit picker is a little bit of a different tool. For things like this, you want the it's literally a snag. You want the snag nab it. This is the better of the two tools. Because that knit picker has a little claw on it and it can get hung up. Mm -hmm. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Need some background music or something? I know, right? Elevator or something going on. Alright, got that one. Nice. So now this skirt's gonna go out like almost perfect. Instead of, you know, like, oh, mm, when you get your skirt, you're like, oh man. Right. I'd rather have a happy. If someone's gonna put a pull in it, I'd rather it be me. <laughs> <laughs> if immediately when you wear this skirt, it's gonna happen. Uh huh, yes this but my fingers are like not cooperating with me that's how like there's not a lot going on you know yep so. there you go all right um, very yes! nice very nice okay happy we got that done fold this guy back up here i think this is going priority put it in the paddock because i think we're out of the yeah. That'll be in tomorrow's video, us ordering USPS supplies. <laughs> Both of these tools are made by Dritz. It's like a sewing company. Snag Nabbit and Knit Picker. Keep them in the bag if it came in so I don't lose them. I still lose them. <laughs> there you go. Padded flat rate envelope. Thank you. I think tonight we're gonna list the shoes. We talked about it briefly when we were off camera to try to clear out some of this space. I don't normally list shoes on a live. First time for everything, though. Yep. 
Okay, shipping labels. Let's get this going. Everything is so small. Hmm. I mean, at least I'm happy for a. What is today, Tuesday? To have t 10 sales. That's yeah. not shabby. So the um, Eileen Fisher top that's going international. Mm -hmm. Give me the dimensions of that bottom. Uh, the split sleeve? Yes. Nine and a half by seven. Mm -hmm. Y'all, hot tip. Hot tip. We're, we're your news source during the week. Hopefully, if you're working while you're listening to us blabber on, I can fill you in on things that I'm learning. Terapeak now goes back two years. What? Two years. But you have to change it in the drop-down menu from one year to two years. That's incredible. Nice. Because sometimes things go in and out of style, and you to be able to see a trend over two years, game changer. If you don't know what Terapeak is, uh, if you have an eBay store, I think, I'm not really sure about the status you need, but it's research. It tells you what things sold for. Also, you just go to your research tab in your seller hub. If something's on an auction or if it's sold on an offer is what I'm trying to say, and it has a line through it so you don't know what it actually sold for, you can look up the item in Terapeak and it'll give you the sale price. Mm -hmm. Another hot tip. Just hot comment tips. at you. Saying. Full of them today. I'm full of something today, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, you ready? One sip of coffee in there, I believe. Mm-hmm. Okay, the Hugo Boss jacket. Mm, really on there. Really on there. Man, this thing sold in like 10 seconds. Yep. And it was listed for a while. We just didn't have it listed correctly. Yep. Ugh. Matthew's hat. Matthew. Where's Matthew's hat? The little green. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Please post pictures in the Facebook group of you wearing your hat. Please and thank you. If you don't know, we have a free Facebook group called the Hustle Couple Reseller Workroom, and it's full of the finest people on the planet. Yes, uh, Eileen Fisher Pants, 4306. <laughs> Pants. <laughs> Man, scary times. The Vanity Fair. Panties. Panties. And the Lufthansa duck going to Los Angeles, California. I think the person loves this duck. Because this duck was about to be in the dumpster. Yep. Saved it. $100 duck. $100 duck. That is crazy. Uh, the rag and bone. Right. Go to Brooklyn. And bone to Brooklyn. It's cool top, I'm telling you. Yeah, I like it. Uh, the Iron Fisher sweater top. No. The Double D Ranch. Scary. Sorry. <gasps> This is the Island Fisher Marine Pop going to Canada. Eh. Alright. Alright, we still have some things to come at you, so stay tuned to see how much profit we made today. Yes. I think that's, it's gonna be okay. That's, that's the most important thing here. Yeah. Profit! BRB! Daily grind means daily Jeremy and picnic. You sleeping hard, buddy? Oh yeah. You too? All right, I'm off to the post office. I will see you guys in a minute. 
action. Okay, so we sold 10 items today Okay. for $499.97 in revenue, <laughs> almost 500 Nice. And $299.05 of that was pure profit. Sweet. So it's pretty good. It's more than our, our goal is 200 a day, but we are still behind for the month. Yeah, we're way behind. $3,326 for the month, and we need to be at 6000 in eight days. We just need to sell three and a half Eskandars. Okay, yeah. Totally, we can do that. Well, here's the thing. If our store only had cheap things, yeah. we'd have to sell a lot more. But there is hope. There is hope, that's true. I listed a trench coat for $6,000. If that had sold, <laughs> <laughs> we'd be good. That's right. Yeah, okay, we're still going to hit the pavement running. Yes, Tomorrow, we we're going to list a million things. Okay. Tomorrow and staying treat. And tonight. We're going to start tonight. We're starting tonight with oh, shoes. Man. Hey, oh, I want to show you something. Yeah. So while you were gone, because I finished a little bit early, I, I started looking up like the Keds and the Manolos. Uh -huh. And I just wanted to share with you a little bit of hot tips. Hot tips. So what I did is I typed in vintage Keds and then I changed it to condition uh, pre-owned. Yes. And then I went for shipping, price plus shipping, highest to lowest okay. in the solds. Yeah. So I'm just doing like a general eh, what's selling because I don't want to like leave money on the table and maybe there's a better way to list it or looking at the photos of those that have sold. So the top selling Keds, you know, a hundred bucks are these tall Keds with some Looney Tunes embroidery, which I can see that. Yeah. But then I'm like, okay, what do I have? So I keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. I don't have those high tops. And now I know what to look for at the thrift store. Yeah. Right. So I'm educating myself at the same time here. The baseball Keds, I used to have those. And I have seen them at the thrift. I didn't know. They went for like 40 Okay, here we go. Keds Vintage 1991 They Feel Good Women's 8.5 Medium Canvas Shoes. These sold for 35 So now I'm going to walk my butt over there and figure out if these are from 1991 and if they say they feel good somewhere on them. Yeah. Because something about those sold among the Looney Tunes bolos, right? Okay, And right. then I'm looking here. These, This is a double. And we had con talked about that. Yep. And these sold for best offer. They were listed at 35 but they did sell. So maybe we can lot ours up. Okay. So I use other people's solds to inform how I'm going to list something before we sit down to list it. Yeah. This is key. And then I also looked up the Manolos. I looked up Manolo Blahnik flats, and then I did use condition shipping highest to lowest. Now, I'm going to try this after we get off the video, but put in vintage. Okay. Because a lot of these Carrie Bradshaw types are coming up. But I did scroll down until I found some that were similar to what we have. And, like, these are kind of crappy, and they sold for 88 Okay, no bad. So I'm going to go into this and see what made these sell. Right? Because these are that bottle nose, like, really pointy thing. Okay, so they're not there. We've looked everywhere. Maybe I'll have to go into Terra Peak. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you when you're sitting down to list something that you're not completely familiar with. It's worth it to just take a few minutes and kind of like look at the solds and sort them that way. It's very helpful. All right. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us all day long. It's now, hold on. Uh -huh. Time check, 517. 517. It's almost time for our dinner break. Yep. And then we'll be back at it listing. 7 30 p.m on the other channel which is linked in the description down below hope to see you there if you learned something today please leave a comment down below it helps us so much yes, please. Bye.